Ooh. All right. There was only two overrides used. That's surprising. Yeah, yeah and, and one of them was by accident. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't very many like hardcore choices there. I don't Not, think. Yeah, I think the only yeah, biggest no. major choice was like the stuff going on between Sharon and Dante and Paul. Yeah, but that it was. Interesting. Seemed like all of us were kind of aligned. Yeah. We're all like, yeah, I'm, I'm tired of Sharon. <laughs> I yeah. yeah, Sharon is not was never really my favorite character, so I really could yeah. care less. I did. I like Paul just fine, mm -hmm. but to be fair, of all of the characters in this entire game, Paul, Sharon, and Dante were probably the ones I was least invested in. So. Mm -hmm. They, they just probably wanted... could have benefited from having a scene with Paul before that point, so we actually yeah. knew a bit more about his character and cared a little bit more, because that was the first kind of Paul-directed scene, and it was a big yeah. one where he had to make this big choice. I feel like we didn't know him at that point. <laughs> I, I didn't even recognize him at first, until the only reason I realized it was Paul was because of the subtitles that mm -hmm. said it was Paul. So, yeah. Yeah. my... My theory that I had um, was that uh, we were going to discover what Paul's relationship was with Vince's dad. I forgot his name, Vince's dad. Because um, I, it seemed like mm -hmm. he recognized Vince's dad, and I think Callista made a mention about maybe they knew each other from somewhere, but that didn't happen, so yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. I think it was kind of hinted at in, a, in one of the past chapters. Vince's dad was a patron of Sharon's sister's bar, and mm. Paul is an ex-alcoholic, oh. mm. so they—I think they knew each other from the bar. Okay, okay. Also, just gotcha. to, just to give everyone at home context, we haven't played this game in about a month, so mm -hmm. yeah. the fact that we don't remember some of the characters' names is uh, yeah, yeah. is entirely fair. Uh, but yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. I think I I liked Paul because he seemed like a genuinely nice guy. Because he's always mm -hmm. you know he's always being nice to the kids and he's always trying to help people out and he's like, oh, I'm fixing. Uh, share uh, the kid's bike because he's been through a lot and he deserves it and all this sort of stuff. Like he, he I, I think Paul is just one of those guys. I think Paul is like Jay, in that yeah. way. Mm -hmm. He's strung along. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. if Paul would get involved, he would die. Yeah. He's just such a. Yeah. He's really such a too goody people person. He's too nice of a man. Of him. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really didn't like how Sharon started. Like. Oh, you always said that I should have chose you, and now I see that you were. I was just like, oh, this Bullshit. is just yeah. Oh, you yeah. get something bad. Yeah, no. you, you know that if she didn't have the police on her doorstep, if she wasn't in this issue, right. she would yeah. not be coming to Paul saying I made no. a mistake. No, no, yeah, no. total manipulation. And Bear's still in hospital. Bear's still in uh, critical and, uh, yeah. intensive care, I believe. Mm -hmm. The main reason I wasn't having Paul agree with Sharon's like plan was because I, I knew that Sharon had ulterior motives. She wasn't going to turn in Dante because it was the right thing to do. She just wanted revenge and she wanted to get the money and she like, and she can't even say she's doing it for, for her family anymore, really, because her kids are like... <laughs> One kid is dead. Uh, One kid's dead. Jay's yeah. missing. Jay's gone. Right. And then the third one, we don't even know where he is. He held off yeah. cops one day, and we haven't seen or heard from him since. Yeah. So and ultimately... That's just what it's, she said. Yeah. Right. could have just fucking abandoned it, him or whatever. It, it was all for selfish reasons. Ultimately, it was all because of selfish reasons, and everything else was just like a bonus. I do wonder her, so. if it would be different, though, if Jay had taken the bike. Because they said the bike popped a wheel after the first mile. And that was it then. The bike has been mm. gone ever since. So they didn't get that far out of Two Rock before the bike was gone. Hmm. Yeah. It's interesting. I also feel like since since Paul and Sharon have a history, like, I mean, we, we as players know that Sharon can be manipulative and she'll backstab anyone because of what yeah. she did to Vince in, in, uh, oh, yeah. in Desert Dream. But it's like Paul... Apparently they have a history together. They like he knows her better, and I feel like our our choices make a lot more sense in that in that case because yeah. he knows her. He he knows how she mm -hmm. is, or at least how she was. And for him, it's like okay, well he's had enough. He doesn't he doesn't yeah. want to be part of this anymore, which I think is yeah. totally fair. So yeah, well, I yeah. Think they, they stay vague enough for us to kind of fill in the background. I think because mm. maybe in, in someone else's mind it could have went better and if you take better options there maybe they kind of fill in the background better so maybe we, we were the ones who made it like the same as, as how she is 
I also really think that we should have answered Dante when he asked that question. I don't think you. I don't think the cigarette would have done anything. I'm not sure, because he. Yeah. You know, it's one of those things of like, I wonder. I'm also really glad that everyone decided to ward Dante because I'm like, I don't want Paul getting involved mm -hmm. in this. Yeah. Mm. The 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 thing with Sharon and the box cutter, um, and when she showed him like the the scar. Yeah, the cut. I. If I'm being perfectly honest, this might sound mean. I that really didn't validate anything for me because all, for me all it validated was yeah. Have you heard of the boy who cried wolf? Like yeah. they lie so much that eventually the lie catches up to them, and mm -hmm. when something actually happens, like people don't believe them, and so it's like yeah, boy who cried wolf. What's your point? You finally <laughs> got one was finally right. One was mm -hmm. finally right. Yeah, I, that doesn't really. Affect yeah. yeah. Sorry, but I like I was kind of so I was surprised that Sharon decided to go on the attack because like she, so far I think what the game is trying to tell us about Sharon is that she's constantly thinking ahead, she's trying to be calculated, she's trying to be a thinker, yeah. a forward planner. And then, you know, when she wasn't even really in a position where she was about to be discovered. Right. She goes to attack the sheriff. It was stupid. It was, it was her. So yeah. It's her pride and her ego getting in the way. We've seen that before yeah. as well. She thinks so she purely, knows best. Purely emotional reaction. And yeah. That's that just, was it. Uh, which... I, I think she was kind of work, working ahead because if, if Paul was involved in that murder, then he had no choice but to help her get the bank account fixed and mm. it would solve all of her problems because Dante's gone, she has the money. And Paul She's out so, you think, so you think she was like banking on Paul supporting her in that moment? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why she was so surprised that he he was going against her. I think she yeah. she she was expecting him to be a soft touch. Mm -hmm. That's a good which point. Is a, which is a very interesting parallel to uh, how Jay was behaving, because Jay, we were very like. Uh, we did not act on on emotion at the party, for example. We could have punched that guy. We could mm -hmm. have taught him a lesson. We could have done all that stuff. But we stayed level-headed, and we tried to be more strategic, which is different from how how Sharon like played her situation in her scene. So I thought that was interesting. Yeah. So our team style was fast friends. Yay, we're all friends here, except for Kevin. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go through the... I love Why how Kevin the nod, nodded right then. He was like, yeah, fuck you guys, yeah. <laughs> Why is he a peacekeeper? He's no peacekeeper. <laughs> I was peacekeeper. He's like, no, no he's trying to make more. It's because you didn't override anyone. Peace. What yeah. can I say? <laughs> no. So, yeah, let's go through all of the uh, team roles and, and traits and stuff. So mm -hmm. go ahead, Callista, let's start with you. Uh, I was an all-rounder. I had a well-balanced play style. Okay. And so did I. So did I. I was well. Uh, I was an all-rounder. I had a well-balanced play style. I was a quick thinker. I made decisions without hesitation. All-rounder, well-balanced play style. Uh, Mike and Callista were both soulmates. Again. Again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interesting. High five. Uh, I was an explorer again, quick and thorough, high, finding hot spots. I was a peacekeeper. I avoided overriding others. <laughs> he didn't override them. He just chose totally different things. <laughs> he, didn't override, he didn't just override. Just disagreed. Mm -hmm. I just disagreed with everyone. Yeah. And then Joey. And I was a committer. Rarely changes changes choice once made. Okay. Just because and I'm slow. If we go. Oh. These are the next. Let's do. Uh, <laughs> let's go right. Wow! Look yeah. at all of. Look how many of us have. It's a, a bouquet of flowers there. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Let's go right to left, starting with Roma. <laughs> I was the first person to have peace and principle, so I I sought calm. I seek. I sought calm, and I avoided confrontation, and I was guided by strong moral convictions. And it looks like the same is goes for Callista, Hannah, Mikey, and Joey. Mm -hmm. Everyone's pieces. But, and then Kevin. <laughs> uh, I, I got freedom, values, mm -hmm. adventure, and the road less traveled, and loyals fixed to others in tough times. 
but he doesn't stick to others' decisions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if everybody no, else sticks, sticks with others, then screw you guys. Sticks <laughs> by ours, yeah. except for us. Doesn't that's the road us. less traveled option right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's, where, yeah, that's freedom. I was neither peaceful nor free, but I was safe, trying to prevent harm and protect others, and I was also principled, so... <laughs> Interesting. Sounds good. Let, yeah, and then let's just go to this really quickly. So the Desiree Aftermath were on the run. We beat the trucker darts. A Deputy Colburn entered the bar. We escaped the bar. We stole a ride to Utah. So I assume mm -hmm. you can actually get... Uh, if you, mm -hmm. I, if you, you can convince mm -hmm. the guy. Vanessa arrived at the hotel. Uh, Mr. Moreland saw the car. We arrived at Todd's party. Uh, we refused the drugs. We st uh, saw the call stolen car on TV because Dr. Moreland saw us uh, and people could not twist. We could not do the twist. Uh, we found Vanessa with Todd. We walked away. We waited by the car. Uh, ditch party with Vanessa. We revealed our true identity to Vanessa. We got smooched. We smooched back. And then uh, Vanessa agreed to come. We agreed to Vanessa coming to Canada. We got rejected being a Holt. And Vanessa stayed as lover. Oh, that's interesting. interesting. That is a less than 40% outcome. The one that we got mm -hmm. for Vanessa staying at the uh, as the outcome. I think the lowest percentage one we have is actually the one where Doctor Morland, Mister Morland, saw the car. So uh, everyone else managed to do enough twisting. But it's forty percent out of three different choices, mm -hmm. so yeah. it's a little bit more than a third. Yeah. Yes. So I think the other two then... would be that, that she leaves or that she stays as friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Undoubtedly. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the the, twi it, the twisting thing was just a surprise. Like it, I was twisting the mouse, but I think like you need to do it really fast. And yeah. because we haven't had like a yeah. control like that before, um, it kind of caught me off guard. Because with like m swiping and twisting, like in the past, it's just been like a little movement. This oh, is the first yeah. one where it's been like really fast movement in order to make it a success. Okay, this tree is really interesting. The Paul one. Mm. Mm. So we have Paradise Lost trailer, we found the Sharon hiding, we almost sprained her with a rolling pin. Uh, we learned about the safe code, we stayed sober, which is vast majority, which is 66%. 42% mm. of people then rejected Sharon, so we're in the minority there. And Dante came calling, we hid two pieces of evidence. So I assume there's an option to, hid, to hide one piece of evidence, and then there's an option where you hid not, hide none. Mm. Uh, Dante was oblivious. Is the next option. Yeah. Dante was not aware of the fact that we had, we had everything. Yeah. Dante was not suspicious, so we acted entirely normal apparently for Paul that yeah. entire time. Twenty-three percent of people warned Dante, so we are in the vast minority there. Then thirty-four percent of people helped Dante, and thirty percent of the people ended the chapter with Sharon was arrested. So I assume there's an option there where Sharon isn't arrested, and then there's yeah. two other endings, which I assume is if like. Maybe you run away with Charon or something like that, maybe. Right, right. There's also an yeah. ending, I assume, where Dante is... Well, Dante being suspicious is essentially what causes the split. But there is a way to go back to it. Um, mm -hmm. It's entirely weird. It's very, very interesting that we hid two pieces of evidence. And we didn't need to hide the cigarettes. Mm -hmm. So, it's very, very unique. That's a very short but very interesting tree that has a lot of information and a lot of different options on it. Yeah. <laughs> What I find interesting about this chapter is that for a story that seems to be very centered around Zoe, um, older Zoe, yeah, uh, there really wasn't a lot of Zoe in this chapter at all. Yeah, like it's a, yeah. a very brief, brief moment of it. What I wonder is, it. is if old, if older Zoe, because she's a detective now, if she's going around mm -hmm. and trying to figure all this out, she's she's going around asking the questions. Maybe mm -hmm. she's talking with. Maybe Paul's still alive. Maybe Joyce is still alive. Maybe Joyce's kid is still alive. You know, all this sort of stuff and talking to them. Maybe she even mm -hmm. found... Maybe maybe the ending of this will be you go see where the Holtz ended up. So, like, maybe you, maybe mm -hmm. one of them is in prison. Maybe you visit... You'll probably visit Dale's grave. Uh, maybe maybe you'll find Jay in, in, Can in Canada with Vanessa and they have kids now or something like that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think all of these choices that we're making is going to dictate the end because all the mm -hmm. things that we're doing at the moment are while Zoe is still a child. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. So all these choices, I think all our choices are leading up to a point where at the end we're going to flash forward to the future mm -hmm. and it will affect mm -hmm. how things go with adult Zoe. I think yeah. that's yeah. what it's leading up to. 
very interesting stuff going on here. I will Any have. What did, um, what did you think, Sam? Sorry, because I, I realize you haven't spoken much yet. Um, no, I really like this chapter. I thought it was interesting. I'm, I like that we got to see what happened with Sharon's ending. Um, and we, I think you really get to see how manipulative she is in this chapter, mm. big time, which I really, really enjoyed. Um, mm -hmm. and then, I'm, yeah, it was, it was a nice one. I don't know. Like, I felt like it was, it was like a peaceful one. I don't know. It was nice. Yeah, it's a little bit of a calm before the storm, I guess, because we're going I into, so. like, the last one, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Roma, you're about to say something? Yeah, I was just going to say, like, I, I don't know how everyone else feels, but uh, for me, I I will say I, I felt a lot more invested in the first half of the story. Um, like... We, we mentioned the calm before the storm, so I'm hoping, like, I'm, ho I'm, I'm hoping that the last chapter is, is uh, where everything comes together and gives us a satisfactory conclusion, because it, it's very interesting to me, because it feels like the first half was very, it, it was extremely tense most of the way, and this, this half so far has, hasn't been that tense, mostly because it's mm -hmm. in flashbacks, and it's, you know, which, which is interesting, because that's not usually how I feel like that's not usually how uh, how games or stories go. Usually they start slow and then pick up speed mm -hmm. near the end, you know, which is very interesting. So, I mean, the first the first half was just going, going, going the entire time, and then mm -hmm. now we've had two chapters now which were much slower. And yeah, I even, agree. And even this, even even in this chapter with. Uh, you know, Paul and Sharon, it was like, it was very easy for us to make those decisions because we don't really care <laughs> that much, which is never a feeling we had in the first mm -hmm. half. So yeah, yeah, which I'm, I'm curious, I'm curious how the last chapter will be. I hope, I hope all of this comes together in a beautiful, <laughs> uh, nice, yeah. beautiful ball. And, uh, and I think that's not to say I don't like it. It's just, it's very different from what I was expecting in the second half. <laughs> and I think the fact that very few overrides were done in this chapter sort of like validates what you were saying mm -hmm. is is this if we're definitely if we're not overriding each other that means we we aren't like super we don't super care about many of the major decisions so yeah yeah i there were no, I, oh, sorry go, go ahead no go on, i was just gonna make a joke it's because there were no trucks in this chapter that's all <laughs> yeah like, that's true there were, there were trucks, trucks. There were been an there option was, to actually, steal a truck. <laughs> Kevin would have been yes. all over that. <laughs> yes. I think Kevin was just mourning over the fact that we didn't get in the truck normally. We had to hike in and be yeah. home. Oh, maybe that's why. We weren't able to get that one truck. We had mm -hmm. to, yeah. We, we missed the most important truck of the game. Yeah. The it was over. <laughs> yeah. I am, I, I am curious about what the scene, how things would have played differently with that one trucker. He seemed cool. That, that one trucker is a mm. pretty cool guy. Yeah. Calista, I'm, I'm sorry, what were we going to say? I was just, just very quickly to add on to what you were saying. I reckon if we had told him the truth, he would have let us come. If mm -hmm. we had said, yeah. like, oh, I what if so I too. did? But, I think, yeah. Um, I think if you had been honest with him as well in the bar and told him, I'm on the run from the cops. Mm, yeah. That's true. He yeah. might have. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was going to ask. I'm not oh, sorry, sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, I'm not, like, in high, like, I know in hindsight, like that you could think oh you know but but in that situation like i couldn't see how why jay would do that 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 didn't seem like yeah. because he didn't know that this people hated the cops here and he had just met this trucker he right. had no reason to believe they wouldn't have just called the cops right there so right. it, it right. felt like a very out of character choice in that moment to be honest yeah. um even if you know the game obviously kind of slapped you on the wrist and went, well, you weren't honest with this trucker, but um, it seemed out of character at the time, yeah. And That's... I will, so yeah, go no, go on, go on. I, I was also going to look at it from a standpoint of I wasn't trying to, you know, be um, I wasn't trying to lie for selfish reasons, I was actually trying to protect the trucker. Because I figured the less the trucker knows, the the better that hmm. he doesn't know what the situation is. So yeah, so there was that too. Uh, do does anyone think we're gonna play as adult Zoe? If it's I wanted to, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. I I wanted to. I don't know. If, if we don't, <laughs> uh, the whole story wouldn't really revolve around her. It would be strange to me. 
because mm. she's the the poster child. So. Yeah. I mean, in in order to play adult Zoe, we kind of need to know what happened to Jay. Mm -hmm. Really, yeah. like it seems like Jay is a character where there is so many different outcomes um, mm. for for where he's going to end up, and I feel like if they're going to intertwine those plot lines at all, we kind of need a conclusion to that before we jump ahead to Zoe, um, unless it's completely detached from Jay and the Holtz, which I can't mm -hmm. imagine it is. Um, so I'm not sure. It's it's a hard one to call. 